Assalamu alaikum everyone, I'm Hawk Rhino. On behalf of my group members, I'm going to demonstrate our final year project and thesis on earthquake monitoring and warning system. First of all, I would like to thank our supervisor, Ms. Tahir Farin Karim, for her continuous support throughout the project work. Now let's look at the hardware parts of our project. At first, we've got two sensor nodes. R1 indicates router 1 or sensor node 1. R2 indicates router 2 or sensor node 2. Each of the sensor nodes has got two sensors attached to it. One of them is the piezoelectric sensor. The other one is the ADXL 345 digital accelerometer. The piezoelectric sensor will sense the vibration of due to earthquakes and as well as it will activate the sensor node to transmit data to the coordinator. The ADXL345 digital accelerometer will be measuring ground acceleration at the moment of earthquake and if you can see on top of each sensor node we've got an Arduino Uno, an XP shield and an, a series 2 XP radio hooked up with it. Both the sensor nodes are identical. This is the coordinator of our project. We've got an Arduino Mega 2560, another XP shield and an XP radio, a GSM modem. Both the modem and the Arduino boards are connected to the laptop by separate serial ports. If there is an earthquake, both the sensor nodes will be sending data to the coordinator. The coordinator is connected to the laptop where we have designed an application in LabVIEW. Inside LabVIEW, we will be comparing and processing all the data from the sensor nodes and come to a conclusion that if this is an earthquake, then automatically an SMS will be sent from this GSM modem to the receiving end or the application based part of our project where according to the rector scale magnitude different messages will be displayed on the LCD screen the buzzer will go on we've got an RGB LED that will that will light up with different colors according to the rector scale magnitude the toll control servo will not work if there is an earthquake so we've got an ultrasonic sensor this is here for um, if anything goes by the toll then the toll will not work so we are setting up the threshold for the ultrasonic sensor to be 28 centimeter anything below that this toll will not work so doesn't matter how much you try and push the switch this toll will not work so if it's 28 centimeter or more this toll will work all right let's now look at the application base all right Let's now look at the application that we have designed in LabVIEW. We've got four tabs. The first tab will show you actually all the ADXL345 data for both the routers. The second tab will be showing you the resultant acceleration. The third tab will show you the piezoelectric sensor data the last tab is the warning part tab where a number is already set and for different rector scale magnitude LEDs will glow and an SMS will be automatically sent to the receiving end let's go back to the first tab each of the sensor nodes are sending packets to the coordinator and 
After receiving the packet, the coordinator will be grabbing x-axis, y-axis and z-axis data and put it through different graphical plots for both the routers. If we split the tab from the middle, the left hand side will show you the data for router 1, the right hand side will show you for da data for router 2, the indicators in between, or I should say the level indicators in between, will indicate the rightmost pick of each graph and these blank spaces will show you the value of the acceleration of the rightmost pick and the absolute value too. By this tab we cannot actually come to a conclusion that this was an earthquake or not so we have to go to the next tab to see was that an earthquake this is the result and acceleration tab our goal of the project is to detect P wave of earthquake and and P wave happens to be in the XY plane so we are taking X axis and Y axis data for both the routers to this tab and calculating the result of acceleration and plotting it for both the routers. In the middle you'll see the rightmost peak magnitude. At the bottom of each graph we've got two magnitude meters that will indicate the resultant acceleration of the rightmost peak. The most important part of this tab is the matching LED in between which will only glow if both the magnitudes matches to some extent which is about plus minus 0.01 percentage difference by looking at this tab we can actually come to a conclusion that this was an earthquake and if the matching LED glows but we really can't actually know that what is the rectal scale magnitude of the earthquake and to reconfirm that this was an earthquake we have to move on to the next tab which is the piezoelectric sensor tab here both the piezoelectric sensor data for for the routers are plotted and the LEDs on top of each plot will blink if if the routers undergoes vibrations due to earthquake the last tab will actually show the rectoscale magnitude of the earthquake and an SMS will be sent to the receiving end for that rectoscale magnitude. Now let's see how the first tab behaves in real time. If we move both the routers you can see getting data, accelerometer data from both the routers. Oh, we've got a match. Wow, that's great. What it says, magnitude 6, all right. We've got a match from the first tab, so let's see what it actually means. We didn't have actually we didn't actually have to go to the next tab to see if there was a match. It happened in real time and so see it was a rectus magnitude six, so B is written. B is assigned for a rectus magnitude six, C is for seven, D for eight, and so on. So for rectus magnitude six, B is written in the, in the body of the SMS and send to the receiving end. Now let's see if we can get another match. Now we are in the result and acceleration tab. You will be watching the matching LED. So let's try and move it. See if we can get a match.
but the router has to be moved synchronously so it's quite hard the first time I called a match that was pretty easy right let's move it a bit faster I can understand that there you go another match see if you can read the message straight away that was Rectus magnitude 5 the eligibility is glowing alright this is the last tab of a project in thesis let's see if we can get a match over here too moving the router simultaneously one of the LED should glow status will change as well should match there you go B B sent from this coordinator to there the receiving end requisite manager 6 earthquake type moderate